Cerebral palsy is a common muscle disorder that affects both posture and movement. It is the most common physical disability in children with more than 600 new cases diagnosed each year in Australia. It is caused by a lack of oxygen to the brain during gestation, birth or early childhood that results in damage to certain areas. The severity of the disease depends on how badly damaged the brain is and which areas are affected. The muscle control can be affected in either all four limbs, mainly the legs, or on one side. Cerebral palsy can make daily life difficult for patients as they may have difficulty in walking or drinking. It may also hinder their ability to learn as they can have difficulty communicating or drawing. The challenge for paramedics is that although cerebral palsy patients often have a normal level of intellect, their muscle control problems can render them unable to communicate effectively. Here, we can listen to this woman trying to introduce herself. Yeah. I will try to keep it up, it um, it um, short. As you can see, she's able to communicate adequately although she does have a very strong stutter. This just means for paramedics that they have to be content to wait while talking with a patient with cerebral palsy and rather than finishing their sentences for them, allow them to speak for themselves. Although you may be able to obtain some history from the patient's family or friends, some assessment tasks require direct communication with the patient, like acquiring a GCS score or performing a mental status assessment or a stroke assessment. Other difficulties paramedics might face when assessing a patient with cerebral palsy is difficulty in taking some vital signs due to their rigid arms. This can make taking a blood pressure or pulse rate difficult and again what is required from the paramedic is patience as each of these tasks will take a little extra time. 